Good morning to my truckers and towers out there. You know, in the trucking and towing world, so many times it's not clear cut whether it's an employee or a subcontractor. What happens when they're injured in an accident in your truck or in their truck, but they've got your DOT numbers on their door? You need to know that before it happens and plan for it. Workers' comp is normally first in line to address situations where your employees are injured on the job, whether hit in the loading docks or in an accident, etc. But on occasion, you're gonna run into scenarios where you're paying them a 1099, but they're in your equipment. Are they really an employee or are they a subcontractor? Also, frequently in this industry, we see where there's a subcontractor, they own the truck and equipment, they've leased onto you, but your numbers are on the door and they're running under your authority. What policy is better equipped to sit and cover that scenario, especially if they're crossing state lines into states where your workers comp will not follow them? We can also do occupational accident. Sometimes you need workers comp and occupational accident to close up the holes and gaps. This is something where we need to have a long conversation and plan out how to completely close up your exposure and make sure you have a good plan in place to take care of those guys when they are hurt on the job. Follow us for more tips and tricks.